It's going to be a Tuscan tuna salad and it's a great way to start a meal because it's light, it's refreshing and it's really simple to make. First thing we're going to do, we're going to burn the peppers. Now we need to peel the peppers. The best way to do that is with a Bunsen burner. Strain into ice water. If you haven't got one of these at home, most people don't, you can actually do the peppers just straight onto the gas. Turn the gas on and you put the peppers straight onto the gas and do exactly the same thing. Okay. Okay? And with the tomatoes, you can get a pan of boiling water and then you drop them in for about 10 seconds and then straight into ice water and it does exactly the same thing. You just rub the skin, the burnt skin, and it just comes off into the water. And we're going to do the same thing with the tomatoes. Just peel them. Okay. Just trim the two ends off. Cut it in half and take out all the seeds and the white as well. Scrape off any black bits that are left on there. Make sure it's completely clean. And then just cut them into long triangles. These are called tomato petals. And just scoop out the insides with the knife. Just like that. OK, we're going to cook the peppers now. A little bit of olive oil in the pan. Don't want it too hot because we don't want to colour it up too much. Because we want to keep the vibrant colours. Season it with salt and pepper. Olive oil. And just turn down the heat so it cooks slowly. Then we're going to put one clove of crushed garlic in there and a sprig of thyme just to flavour it. While that's cooking, three spices here. We've got whole coriander seeds, fennel seeds, and whole black peppercorns. We need equal quantities of each. And just crush them in a pestle and mortar. Just check the peppers are cooked by trying one. Once the spice is crushed, put it straight onto a tray. And you just roll the tuna in the spices. Press the spices onto the tuna. So it forms a really nice crust. Okay, when the peppers are cooked, we're going to add a little bit of red wine vinegar, just a splash. And then that goes straight in with the tomatoes while it's still hot. Okay. Clean plate, drizzle of olive oil, and we're going to quickly sear the tuna all over so the spices stick onto the tuna, but not too hot, otherwise the spices will burn and they'll be become bitter. Straight into the pan, we're going to leave it for 30 seconds on each side. Tuna is especially good raw. If it's cooked all the way through, it's just dry piece of meat and it's really unpleasant. This is chip out the bread, mm -hmm. okay? And we're going to make some croutons out of it. Nice squares. Then we're going to lightly toast these off in a little bit of olive oil and butter. And that's going to add texture to the salad. Crouton straight into the pan with olive oil. It should sizzle slightly. I'm going to add a knob of butter. I'm going to add some garlic and thyme to that. Crushed garlic, just to flavour up the croutons. Some picked thyme. Just a tad. And just season it slightly. To finish the salad, just add, add a tablespoon of miniature capers, some sliced black olives. So there's no stones in those olives. Once the croutons are golden brown, just spoon them out onto paper so they drain nicely. And then we're going to add some Spanish marinated anchovies and vinegar, or otherwise known as bocarones. 
and then you just cut them into strips again. Just cut them in half. When you're doing this recipe, you don't want to use the salted ones. I think that they're kind of overpowering and too salty as well. Put that in here and just mix that. A bit of extra virgin olive oil. Just going to take a little bit more vinegar. Okay, we're ready to plate up. We're going to use one of these. This is a plastic ring. It just helps to keep the shape of whatever it is that you're putting inside. It makes it more presentable. Just spoon the mix into the ring. You don't want too much. Just enough to cover the, the base of the ring. And make sure that you get even quantities of everything in there. Take the ring off. And just slice the tuna in three, not too thin. I don't want it wafer thin. Three nice slices. Some of that juice at the bottom of the bowl. Just want to brush over the tuna. Put the bread on top of the tuna. What the bread does, it adds texture to the whole dish. And then finally, this is basil crust. Yeah, it's a miniature version of basil. It's sprinkled over the top. And that's it. That's your Tuscan tuna salad. Very simple.